Okay, um, so the EGR pipe is uh, I'm pretty much uh, coming off. Um, it's all good. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the EGR pipe down here, there's another um, what looks to be a vacuum um, relay um, for switching. Um, so that, that, that switches oh, the EGR diaphragm. So that's the, uh, yeah, that'll switch the EGR on or off um, that, that solenoid um, vacuum relay down the bottom there. Um, so probably have to disconnect that. Okay, um, intake manifold, uh, minimal done to it, um, yeah, there's some carbon build up, uh, it's hard, yeah, it's pretty, it's not too bad, um, compared to what I've seen on the internet. Yeah, not too bad. Just moderate. Not too bad. Okay, you can see the there's a smaller hole in cylinder number four. Um, cylinder number three's got a larger hole, and this is all purely to do with the EGR recirculation of the gases. Um, cylinder number three has got a really good um, vantage point to the throttle body. Um, where it gets a whole lot of flow and due to proximity of number four that gets a lot of flow um, and you can see that there is no EGR return for these two other than the uh, gases that would um, get pulled through um, during a uh, intake cycle Okay, I've just been looking into the um, intake ports of the cylinder head using an endoscope with a light attachment. Um, definitely cylinder number two um, looks very wet inside there. Um, there's part of the valve that has a, a build up on it uh, that almost looks to be carbon but when I try and scratch it it's all, it feels more like metal and that's on the back of the um, of the valve so if the valve you know the stem comes down and then you've got the valve at the bit bottom it's just on top where the concave bit comes down on the right hand side but that's a real major concern for me um, cylinder number three looks really good and that's the one that gets the most EGR feed um, because it's got the biggest hole in the manifold which is uh, kind of um, yeah, interesting in itself and uh, 4 doesn't look too bad and number 1 didn't look too bad but not as good as 3 3 was the best let's say maybe 4 and 1 are equal but definitely number 2 cylinder looks pretty nasty in there um, very wet um, really a bit concerned. Uh, I've, um, I'm currently measuring the valve clearances and they are within tolerance. Um, um, they're sort of on the larger gap end of the scale. Um, yeah, just a note to remember uh, for future um, if I get a cracked head.